In this video, we're going to look at small angle approximations. So when our angle is small and measured in radians, that's important, this only works in radians. So if we have degrees, we have to convert it to radians to do the approximation. So when theta is small and in radians, sine theta is approximately equal to theta, tan theta is approximately equal to theta as well and cos theta is approximately equal to 1 minus theta squared over 2. So we've got a question here show that when x is small cos 2x over sine x can be approximated as 1 over x minus 2x. So when x is small we can say that cos 2x is approximately equal to 1 minus 2x squared over 2. So I'm just changing theta into 2x here. And I can simplify this. So I've got 1 minus 2x squared, which is 4x squared over 2. And half of 4x squared is 2x squared. So cos 2x is approximately equal to 1 minus 2x squared. Sine x is approximately equal to x. So if I put these together, cos 2x over sine x is approximately equal to 1 minus 2x squared over x, which simplifies to give us 1 over x minus 2x, and that's what we wanted. Part b says, hence approximate the value of cos 0 0.3 over sine 0 0.15. So we can see that x has been changed here to 0 0.15. So for part b, we're just going to substitute 0 0.15 in for x. So 1 over 0 0.15 minus 2 0 0.15s. And we can just type that into the calculator. And we get an answer of 6.36 recurring. And I'll store that in the calculator to use in part C. And part C says, calculate the percentage error in, in our approximation, in our answer to part B. So we need to know the actual value of cos 0 0.3 over sine 0 0.15. So we'll just type that into the calculator. Cos 0 0.3 over sine 0 0.15. And that gives us an answer of 6.39285.6183 and so on. I'll save that in the calculator. And we want to know the error. So how far out is the approximation from the actual answer? So percentage error. is the difference over the actual answer. So the difference between the two answers over the actual answer times 100. So we're going to do 6.39. going to use the whole number though. 6.39 take away 6.36 recurring over 6.39 times 100. So we're just going to type that into the calculator. And we get out our percentage error of 0.41% to two decimal places.
Okay, here we've got another question. If you want to pause the video and give it a go, you can. Otherwise, just keep watching. So show that when theta is small, cos theta tan 2 theta can be approximated as 2 theta minus theta cubed. So cos theta, when theta is small, is approximately 1 minus theta squared over 2. And tan 2 theta, when theta is small, is approximately 2 theta. So we're going to times these together. So cos theta tan 2 theta is 2 theta approximately 2 theta times 1 minus theta squared over 2. 2 theta times 1 is 2 theta. 2 theta times theta squared is 2 theta cubed over 2 is just theta cubed. Hence approximate the value of cos 5 degrees tan 10 degrees. So these small angle approximations only work in radians. So we need to convert uh, theta, which is going to be 5. Theta is going to equal 5 degrees. So theta is 5 degrees. But we need to calculate that. We need to, we need to change 5 degrees into radians. So to change degrees into radians, we divide by 180 times by pi. So 5 over 180 times pi is 1 over 36 pi. So we've got 2 times 1 over 36 pi minus 1 over 36 pi cubed. And we're just going to type that in the calculator. So 2 times 1 over 36 pi minus 1 over 36 pi cubed and we've got an answer of 0 0.1738683531 and again I'm going to store that in the calculator to use in part C and part C says calculate the percentage error in your answer so let's work out the actual value. So cos 1 over 36 pi times tan 2 times 1 over 36 pi. So you can have 2 over 36 or 1 over 18 pi. So I'll write that down. So we've got cos 1 over 36 pi times tan 1 over 18 pi and that comes to 0 0.1756560033 so I'm going to save that in the calculator as well and then we're going to calculate the error so what's the error so percentage error And that's going to be the difference over actual times 100. So we've got our, our 0 0.1756. Take away our 0 0.1738 over the actual, which is our 0 0.1. 756 times 100. And I've got these numbers stored in the calculator, so I'm using the whole numbers. And I've got an answer of 1.02% to two decimal places.